we come together as a whole. So we have, we, we want to live longer, but we also want to live longer with health and vitality and vigor and creativity and love and joy and everything that you are designed to experience. And I hope that all of this exists inside your brain because only when it, everything that you can ever want already exists inside you. That is one of the philosophies of can your mind move matter. This is Dr. Din, and I'm going to be talking about how your mind can move matter. Now, not every mind moves matter. Sometimes matter moves some minds. But can mind move matter? Are you the person whose mind is going to move matter? If you are, then you matter. Otherwise, you don't. Anything that happens outside of you, first of all, happens inside of you. And in the inside of your inside, there is a very important organ called your brain. You exist because your brain wants to exist. And everything that happens around you happens because it is your brain that is bringing it about. And yes, there is always a collection of brains that make things happen around them. But it all starts with one brain. All you need is one brain that, that can move matter. So if your brain is that brain, then what I will tell you about will matter. One of the things that we need to know about your brain, the white and gray matter in your brain is that it arises from the same material that your skin arises from. And this happens when you are very, very, very tiny, like literally a few cells old. So the outermost layer of the embryo when you're a little tiny embryo, is called the neuroectoderm. And that divides into your skin and your brain cells. So the only way for your brain, your internal consciousness, only way it can recognize itself is by viewing itself through the eyes. Now, guys, your eyes are not just the windows to your soul. Your eyes are the only exposed part of your brain that faces outwards. Everything else is inside. So your eyes are a window into your own brain. All right? Uh, so your eyes, which is like a very important part of your brain, can view your reality at all stages of your experience. In this life. So when your eyes can watch its skin, which is a part, which is just like a soulmate of the brain, when they look at, at themselves disintegrating through time, it knows at what point your body is going to pause. When your body pauses, which is usually happens in your fourth or fifth decade of existence. Like if you're genetically a little more advanced, uh, this pause might happen a little later. But at some point, your body is going to experience that pause, a slowing down and then a pause. So when the pause happens, what do you do? When the pause happens... It's like a signal from the cosmos to you, dear sir or madam, that 
it's time to exit the matrix of existence but we love our lives we have not only our own experiences to live but also we have to understand and live other people's experiences too and especially now that we live in a very connected world we've come together as a whole so we have we we want to live longer but we also want to live longer with health and vitality and vigor and creativity and love and joy and everything that you are designed to experience and i hope that all of this exists inside your brain because only when it, everything that you can ever want already exists inside you that is one of the philosophies of can your mind move matter anyway so based on that i am constructing a talk which i'm going to speak on top of the prior edX conversation i had last year at georgetown now it was like a it was the first time i tried public speaking because i just thought it, it's it's good i should i should start doing it more often but i am basically getting out of my own way so that i can go and speak some of these messages because some of these messages are very important for people to understand because understanding your own brain and understanding your own mind and understanding the fact that your mind matters um is a very important part of everybody's journey and what impacts your brain in the short term in the long term it all matters how was your experience giving a ted talk for the first time um scary i was actually so scared to uh go and talk in front of little kids little tiny tots i was uh, and their parents i was so afraid but i went ahead and they were so nice they were i think some of the sweetest kids i have met was i sweet when i was a kid no <laughs> the simple answer is no i was never a sweet kid I could be a people pleaser when I was young I was I could be a people pleaser but I was not you know that that was only because I lived in a third world country where women are supposed to be people pleasers they're op- oppressed with so many misogynistic men so we do learn people pleasing early on in life so but when I didn't have to become a people pleaser I stopped people who knew me personally knew that I was not going to please them for no good reason you've been on the newspaper and television live news yes listen it's a message i'm spreading it's a message of health and wellness that i'm spreading um longevity the possibility of longevity the possibility of uh, getting older without diseases the possibility of uh, bringing about all the versions of yourself uh, that are locked inside of you that stay hidden inside of your brains and they, that will never see the light of day because you're not aware so yes i have been spreading this message for a very long time it's been over 12 years my name is sophia tin i am a board certified family medical doctor and an anti-aging expert i would call myself an expert i am a doctor yes in new york and my office is in westchester Where can we see your full TED talk? I have a podcast um on Spotify called Anti-Aging with Dr. Giovanni. Dr. Giovanni is my pseudonym. But you can find it also on YouTube, I think. Okay, how does your perception of self affect your health? So if you perceive yourself as old and declining and lacking in energy, it will impact your health negatively so you can literally your brain is a thought processor and it will bring about whatever you tell it consistently and that is one of the reasons that i tell people that make sure that you 
surround yourself with people who feed you good things. And especially when you're young, when your ego is not fully developed, when your barriers are not fully developed, and when you're still naive, and the people who talk to you and who say things to you that it matters and sometimes these people can be just your own parents who are ignorant listen ignorance is not a bliss whether it happens through through somebody else or through your own parents or family members so yeah um does anti-aging uh, is a way to have a better perception about yourself anti-aging uh, is not it should not create in itself a change in your perception of self anti-aging is basically a concept where wherever your body whatever version of your self you are the most satisfied with how to prevent it from fading away it should not alter anything it should not alter you it should not alter your hard wiring or any other kind of wiring, internally or externally. I mean, that is the purest con conception of uh, de-aging. Basically, you stop yourself, you halt your disintegration through time and gravity. That's all that anti-aging is. While keeping all your systems and functions working properly in your favor. It's not, it's not you changing the perception. The perception, the change in your perception of self happens from inside. It is in your brain. That version of you exists inside your brain. You have to figure out. You have to start figuring out what version you like. And sometimes your perception of self changes through time. So the way you perceive yourself in your 20s may, will be very, very different different from how you perceive yourself in your 30s from how you perceive yourself in your 40s and then how you perceive yourself in your later decades so all of these like at what point your system peaks and how you perceive yourself will be dependent upon how you lived your life till that point and where you want your trajectory to end so perception of self is an inside job that changes over time through your life's journey, through your minutest acts of service to yourself and others.